What's up guys? Brave13 here and welcome to another Gumpla unboxing. Okay, so what we have here today is the high grade 1144 scale Hyperion Gundam from the Gundam Seed MSV series. Okay, so this unit uh, was re-released again by Bandai and I managed to get a hold of one. But the original release date of this unit was actually uh, July of 2004. So this is actually a pretty old unit. Maybe June of 2004. Yeah, and this actually got the price tag of 1,200 yen. But remember, price varies depending on the stores and retailers, okay? So, from this point forward, there's going to be a spoiler alert here um, in this, uh, for the Gundam Seed MSV Saga. So you can skip this part here, okay? Let's start, shall we? So, there's actually three units um, that was built. As a test uh, bed, this is actually um, a prototype. And um, to sell for the Eurasian Federation, I believe. But uh, aside from that, three units were built. Uh, one were, was for Canard Pars. Two was for... Uh, the two and three was actually piloted by regular pilots. The second one, the second um, Hyperion, was actually... Um, Severely that well, not severely damaged, but damaged. The pilot was killed, and the pilot Hyperion one cornered parts stole the unit for spare parts. Well, Hyperion three was severely damaged and repaired and piloted by another pilot in the Seed MSV series. But uh, I'll focus on Canard Pars here. Canard Pars is actually um, was born from the same. Ultimate Coordinator project that uh, created Kirei Yamato, but he is considered a failure. He's actually one of, um, I think, the only survivor from that project. He was later captured and, um, what do you call that, tested on, experimented on, and was called a failure. He developed a hatred towards Kirei Yamato and he wanted to kill him. Uh, but uh, I'm going to start stop from there for that uh, connection with Kiri Yamato. But uh, his arch rival is uh, Prayer, Prayer Reverie. And uh, yeah. So my suggestion is check the Gundam Seed MSV manga whenever you get the chance. You can purchase one. Yeah. And uh, the next step is I'm ending the spoiler alert from this point forward. There's Freyer Reverie. Yeah, he does look like Kiri Yamato. There's the other units and there's a price tag. 1200 yen. Okay, let's check the contents here, shall we? Okay, I actually got this true Canadian Gundam. Special shout out to them. They tend to leave a lot of cards in each box. <laughs> Okay, so let's check the manual first. Just two uh, packages there. Okay, so as you guys can see a close-up of the Hyperion Gundam. It looks very, very different. You got your basic beam rifle. This looks like a beam cannon. And uh, this is uh, for the weaponry or this is what we call the Armor Lumiere. Yeah. So it's a lightweight shield. So there, this unit actually got plenty, which is quite interesting. Uh, similar to the Akatsuki. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, but uh, gonna need a lot of um, custom effects here. It looks like it's made as a defense unit. So, um, just a fun fact here, this one here is uh, doesn't have an end jammer canceller, so uh, it only operates uh, with limited time. And from my own opinion, um, the Armor Lumiere does take a lot of uh, energy. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, including the polycaps. There's going to be stickers there. It's actually pretty basic, straightforward. There's no English instruction, so just follow it. Yeah. There's your color. 
pattern here and the decal placement X113 and this one looks like a little bit <laughs> or X1 slash 3 yep 3 units not bad yeah let's open this uh, baby up Okay, you get your polycap here. Really not that bad. Okay, and then you got your A-frame here. Okay, as you guys can see. Your lightweight shield. Not bad. The next part. Oh, it's three frames. Where did I put that? Sticker. You get your sticker. Very little. I'm actually surprised. But then I'm expecting some detailing. Okay. And then you get your frame B, which is get the white color scheme here. There's some details. There's your headpiece here. And like uh, the, what do you call that now? Dreadnought. Uh, the faceplate is integrated into the headpiece. Yep. There's gonna be a lot of seam lines here. Just to let you guys know. And maybe a little bit of uh, nubs. Okay, now the next. Sorry, I had to grab the scissor. The next part is uh, the last one. Looks like uh, the decals. You got your stickers here, or decals. Not bad. So there's, there's uh, three types of stickers here one, two, and three. Huh. Not a whole lot, but not bad. Okay. Now the next piece here is uh, the red part, the D part. And red fin. Hmm, not bad. And the last one is frame C. You got your beam rifle here, or beam gun. And then uh, this looks like a beam dagger, but there's two pieces. Huh. Okay. Now, one thing I want to point out is the lack of uh, beam savers. Yeah. Kinda disappointed there, but I, like I said, this is a 2004 kit. Like the Dreadnought, you need uh, to borrow the beam saber from the Providence Gundam for the shield. <laughs> okay, so there you have it, guys. Unboxing of the Hyperion Gundam up next will be the review and thank you guys for watching. I decided to actually integrate the um, history of uh, the unit on the unboxing because the review seems to take a little bit too long and I just want to shorten it as much as possible. Okay, this is Rave13. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. Signing out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. See ya.